In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use the PHP library for the SMSified API. Um, SMSified is a platform for sending and receiving text messages. It has a dead simple REST API and a one cent per message pricing structure. And if you go over to the SMSified site on GitHub, you'll see several different um, um, language bindings that we've provided so that you can use the language of your choice um, to interact with the SMSified API. Today I'm going to talk about the PHP library that we've made available. Uh, if you go to uh, this repo and you clone it, uh, you will have a very nice um, set of uh, classes for working with uh, the SMSified API. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is to build a um, SMS message management system using PHP and CouchDB. And what this will let you do is it will let you store all inbound text messages to your SMSified number in an instance of CouchDB. And you can start to do some really interesting things with this inbound uh, uh, message store. Uh, what I'll show you how to do today is to create an RSS feed so that you can actually um, look at all of your in incoming SMS messages uh, in your mail client or your RSS, uh, RSS reader. Um, we'll be using CouchDB and I'm going to make use of a class library called uh, SAG, which is a really nice uh, PHP library for working with CouchDB. Uh, I recommend it highly. I've used it on several projects and I think it's uh, a very useful class library. So once you um, clone or download uh, SAG and uh, clone or download our SMSified PHP library, open up the editor of your choice and um, I will post the sample code that I'm going to walk you through right now to GitHub so that you can use it as a starting point. It's pretty simple really. Um, you import the SAG and uh, SMSified classes. And then what we do here is we uh, extend one of the classes that we provide in our SMSified library. And this is basically just to make it easier to work with inbound messages. In this case, what I'm doing is um, uh, I'm just creating a new method uh, on this um, derived class that will just simplify the JSON structure uh, of uh, the message uh, format that gets sent by SMSified to your app. So if you go to SMSified, and you log into your account, what you will see is your listing of telephone numbers. Um, if you click on this little pencil icon here, what you'll see is that you can enter a URL uh, in this subscription URL field. And what this tells SMS SMSFI to do is when there's an inbound text message, it's going to send a JSON uh, payload to your URL that you specified here. And in this case, SMSFI is going to send uh, the inbound um, JSON payload to this index.php file, which is the exact file that we're looking at right here. So all it does is it gets the um, JSON payload from SMSified and passes it to this new uh, derived class that we've just created right here. Then I open up a connection to CouchDB just using this uh, uh, the SAG library. I get the message ID from the JSON payload that SMSified has sent and I use that as the document ID uh, when I store the document in CouchDB. Pretty simple. It's, uh, it's, it's amazingly simple. So I'm going to run this on my local machine. So what I need to do is I actually need to open up a tunnel using Tunneler. And that will just tell SMSified to make, a J or to make an HTTP post to the, the, the local version of this that I've got running on my machine. So what should happen when I go to um, SMSified here, I'm going to use this default number that I've got. When I send a message, a uh, text message, I should see uh, a record show up in my CouchDB database. Let's look at our CouchDB database now. You can see it here. It's just uh, something I just created. There's a, only a design document in it. We'll talk about that in just a second. But there's no actual text messages in it. Let's change that. I'm going to send myself a message that says, PHP and CouchDB are awesome. So then my message has been sent, and in just a second here I should see a new record show up in my CouchDB database, and I do. There it is. PHP and CouchDB are awesome. So this is great. What you can, what you can do now uh, is you can, you can start to use all the tools available to you in CouchDB and, and the tools that have been built for CouchDB to manage your um, SMS messages if that's what you want to do. There are tools that let you do full text searching on CouchDB, so if you want to keep a record of SMS messages over a long period of time, months or even years, uh, you'll have this record permanently and you can go back and you can search on it 
um, and manage these messages however you want to. What I wanted to do was to see if I could create, using just the, the basic uh, CouchDB functions, uh, a quick RSS feed that I could then incorporate into um, my local mail client. So that's what I ended up doing, and that's where this um, design document comes into play. So I've got some, some things here that I'll walk you through, but uh, this code will also be made available on GitHub so that you can use it in your own instance of CouchDB, and you can serve up your, um, uh, your SMS messages as an RSS feed in your mail client. So the first thing I've got here is just a simple view. Uh, all this does is uh, emit a basic structure that I'm going to work with um, when I create my RSS feed using uh, this list function here. This list function, although it looks a bit, uh, uh, a bit dense here, all it does is it takes the basic structure uh, of the JSON that we got and we stored in CouchDB and it just creates a simple RSS feed for each record in the database. Uh, I've also got another function here. Uh, it's called a show function. And all this does is it shows an individual message that is stored in CouchDB, one of our SMS messages, just as a very simple web page. Now, I want to make this very easy to access, so I've got a couple of rewrite rules written here. And I've gone into my um, uh, etc host file. And what I've done is I've created a the ability to um, just call it this text manager uh, URL and it will it will uh, resolve to localhost. There it is. There's my RSS feed right there. Very nice, very simple. So what I can do now is I can actually go over to my mail client and I can create a new RSS feed. And in it, I will put my URL from CouchDB. And as you can see there, now I've got a text message that shows up in my RSS feed. If I click on that, I will see the details of this message, uh, who it was from, the message, and then if I, I have a link here, uh, as part of the RSS that I generate in uh, this CouchDB um, list function, I actually include a link to uh, this show function here, and I pass in the uh, document ID. What that really means is when I click on this link, I should see a simple web page that shows the details uh, of the actual text message, and you can see it here. So this is a really, really easy way and very powerful way to manage your text messages, uh, your inbound text messages, by creating a permanent record for them using CouchDB. And then you can use just the basic uh, functions that are available to you in CouchDB to make it super easy to manage um, your text messages. I often find it um, much easier to sit at my desk while I'm working, and uh, it would be great if I could get a, um, a cleaner presentation of text messages that come in. And an RSS feed struck me as something that would be uh, really nice to be able to look at uh, as as new text messages come in. Actually, let's try it again. Let's let's send another text message. And I'm going to say, I love RSS feeds. I'm going to send that in. So now it's been sent. Let's update our inbound messages, and there's our new message right there. I love, I live RSS feeds. Well, that uh, sort of an object lesson in uh, um, the uh, perils of typing on the iPhone, I guess. But if I click on this link here, I should get, there it is, a nice simple web page that shows that I live RSS feeds, and I do indeed live RSS feeds. So there you have it. A uh, very simple um, but powerful demonstration of using the SMSified PHP library, uh, along with um, uh, the very powerful SAG library for uh, PHP, and uh, also um, CouchDB to create a permanent um, uh, repository for your inbound SMS messages so that you can do all sorts of uh, very cool things.